Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Silvercross here, and this is a this is a continuation of my Double Survivor playthrough. This is part 67, if I recall correctly. 67, yeah. Um, and yeah, we're at the final battle of Atsura's route, and we're gonna be uh, we're facing Babel right now, actually. Um, and yeah, so this is the supposed defense mechanism of uh, Babel, and uh, yeah, as you can see, pretty easy. Um, under normal circumstances, if you don't actually defeat him within a certain uh, amount of time, he does actually fade back into the tower, um, and Atsura has to move on to the next um, piano delay thingy. Which is why it's really good for him to have uh, flight. Um, double speed is good too if you have it, but uh, flight is pretty much the only thing you do need. Um, and with flight, you can pretty much fly across the two gaps and you can fly back down to the center platform where Na uh, Naoya is. Um, and yeah, it looks like we'll be seeing the true form of uh, Babel, this weird looking uh, tower thing with tentacles for some reason. And uh, yeah, looks pretty tough, right? And he is, by the way. Um, I don't know if that's a glitch, or that's just part of the weird uh, graphics effects, but, uh, yeah. Kick-ass music, by the way. Really kick-ass music. I'm not too fond of Del Survivor's, um, soundtrack, but there are time- there are, uh, uh, tracks that I really enjoy, and, um, this is probably one of them. Most of the boss teams really- they just really kick-ass. And, um, yeah. So this ba this battle is pr this- uh, well, the stage, uh, I'd say. Is really no different than um, before, really. You still have to protect uh, now, yeah. But uh, this time you have to deal with uh, a much stronger foe. Um, the thing with Babel is he ch he can change weaknesses. So um, right now he's weak to electricity, and um, yeah, I don't have any electric I don't have any electrical moves, but I don't want to use um, fire or ice or uh, force moves at all. Because you can reflect them, so it's good. It's key to, to pay attention to this, because um, well, how else you gonna hurt them? Which is why moves like Holy Dance are really good here, because they can just they don't you can't block Holy Dance or you can't uh, you know deal less damage. But the problem with Holy Dance is you don't get any like um, Holy Jump or Holy Rise and stuff like that, so you don't get any of those uh, boosting moves, which are pretty key in a, in a boss battle, I find anyways. Um, some other good moves is well. Um, the usual Pierce Deathbound nonsense. Um, yeah, you can't really protect against um, Babel's attack. Really, um, he does have a lot of strong moves. Um, he also changes elements, which changes elements, which is pretty key for you to to take note of. So, um, yeah, it's he's he's pretty tough to deal with if you haven't realized. Um, Pierce and Deathbound and Foam Light can only get you so far. As you you need the you need the constant healing to to keep you alive and keep you going. Um, as you can see, you're significantly weaker as from before, which is why I suggest um, using dance uh, moves over physical moves really um, against Favel because you can't really um, there's no real negation on the damage except for uh, well MP obviously if you run out but uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Babel Dossal also has a pretty big range, so um, you do be careful with that, and you almost killed Atsura. That's not good. Um, so yeah, at this point, as you can see here, he, he changed them. Um, he can change weaknesses, and he does a, and he does a cal calamity of Babylon move, which um, is very strong actually. Yeah, see, look, it, it just killed like two of uh, my guys. Um, but yeah, he he's. He's pretty threatening right now, so I I don't suggest. I think he can't hurt uh, now, yeah. So yeah, this is a pretty sticky su situation right now, as you know, as you can see here. Um, I lost two of my characters, and um, but, well, Yuzu silenced, and now he has to be protected. But um, I'm not too concerned about that, to be honest, right now. Um, you should just focus on dealing as much damage as possible. Um, I suggest um, Force Dance as as your main damage dealer. When it comes to magic, um, this is because for every time, the two times that I did face him, um, he always goes electrical damage, electrical weakness first, and then when he switches, he goes to a force weakness. So you can, and chances are you're not gonna kill him um, in the first turn anyway. So I mean, plus for not only that, force is really strong in itself. 
so I do suggest um, going for it. Um, at this point, I'm really, I'm just using my main, uh, my other characters as cannon fog to distract them from uh, going after Nalia, which he can't, um, who he can't defend himself. So it's best if you have some sort of like defense, obviously, right? Um, but yeah, like I said, um, Calamity of the Babylon is a very strong move, and it also silences. So it's really important to have uh, moves like Affection or uh, Am Amrita to to counter it. Um, Mainly to heal your your support your uh, your main magic dealer obviously like uh, user here, and you'll see soon enough just why I, I I go force because it's it's an extremely strong combination. Um, look at that 900 damage just just like just like that almost a thousand really, and she gets she gets to go again, she gets an extra turn so you can imagine the damage dealt to to, to Babel right here. Um, it's a lot. Just like that, 800, and he's almost dead already. Um, obviously not dead yet, but uh, yeah. Also, a good. I also like to keep. Um, not only not only do I get um, force jump and force rise on Yuzu, but um, a move like Victory Cry is very good too because it restores HP and MP. And I put uh, put Kree actually on her. I probably should have put Magic Gang. Um, it doesn't matter at this point, but uh, yeah, as you can see. Battle can go down pretty easily if you have the right moves. Um, dance moves are incredibly strong at this point, um, especially especially since you can stack them with uh, the rise and jump moves. So, like I said, like I always say in the later battles so far, um, pretty much focus those kind of moves because they will they will rip through bosses if they have a weakness like that. And luckily, um, Babel always changes the force after the first turn, so why not, right? Um, in terms of this part, um, I'm not actually sure about the commands. Um, I was really confused at this point. I'm just like, um, I don't know which one to choose. Um, I don't think I don't think it really matters at that point. I think all the all the choices lead to the same like end. So really, you don't have to focus. You don't have to worry about too much with that choice, but not getting the right ending per se. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll just let the ending roll, and uh, yeah, there we go. Atsuru's route is done. Not bad, not bad. A lot better than user's route, I'd say. Um, but not perfect. No. Um, there's some things I don't really like about Atsuru's route, and that's the fact that you know people can easily be corrupted by this kind of power, this kind of responsibility. You know, who who decides who gets who decides to get uh, give who, who power, right? I mean, how do you how do you decide something like that? How does one find? Who does one say I'm worthy of this power? You know, it's it's just something that I've been wondering about the series ending. Um, I mean, it's o it's okay for an ending, and it's a lot better than users ending where they where they fucking run away. But you know, it's not it's not the best ending so far from what I've seen. So, but uh, it's it's an okay ending. I, it wasn't bad. It was a tough battle, and it and it gives you a good it gives you a good idea of how. Most of the roads are laid out if you do plan to do all six or oh, sorry all five roads really um, They're really only four of them are the same, but uh, yeah, you know it gives you a good idea and how the roads are laid out and you know it can help you better prepare so Supposedly Atsuro has the easiest um, Babel version um, I'm not certain of this to be honest for some reason when I did Gin's route that was a lot easier But uh, we'll talk about that later um, but yeah, I'll let the ending roll, and yeah, I don't know, that Zero Zero was, uh, was alright. Better than stupid ass Zuzus. Took control using technology. Yep, that's the way to go, Loki. Well, that's that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say. I think I've already said my piece about Asuro's uh, route. And yeah, um, I don't want to keep this for any. I don't want to keep talking because I don't want to over uh, overshadow the ending. But uh, yeah. Um, I guess that's it for now, and I'll let the endings just roll on before I trail on, on and on again. So, uh, 
There's a Silver Cross uh, saying Sia, and uh, next route will be Gin's route. <laughs> 